What you are going to see now is basically the basis of what our Bible got so good when it started, how it started. In fact, all of it is taken from Professor Bonatari, side, so of course, not US. So, the story started, as you can see, in 1976, where my Shmuel began working on Torah Kodesh, particularly with respect to religious fields. In the next table, we see a question. When did Rabbi Amir begin Torah Kodesh? In Hebrew, this question is, Matai Achel Yadid Kod Torah. The question is answered in the table, is a sentence, not a tapshim number one, Yachem for Torah. Yanil will begin Torah course in the year 5736, 1976. Indeed, that is when Rabbi Shmuel Yanil began studying Torah course. His first book, course, in the Torah, the Torah was published 12 years later, in 5748, 1988. Since then, he has published four additional volumes of Torah The table produced by the church has a cylinder size of 632. It is interesting that 632 is a gematria, not a very of Sunod, the Hebrew, but hidden. The plural of the word support being in quotes, unbelievable. So this is what you are going to see now in the table, the word, when will the gift code of Torah, when will the gift code of Torah, 576, Unbelievable. So let us see now where it appears, and we see clearly, definitely, this verse, this question, and the answer. So let us see now. The table, there are many tables here, all of them deals with Torah code, but let us see now the question, when Torah code will start. So, so here what we have is the following. Yachel, the word Yachel, called Torah, will begin course of Torah, Yanil, will begin code of Torah on the year 576. So all this you see here. You have Yachel called Torah. will begin code of Torah on the year 8 of Shimon and Rav, I'm pretty proud of it. 5,736 in the year. And when Yamim, this is the name of Yamim, who Brought it to the world on the year 5736, 1976. So this is what he tells you that cylinder size is 62. Maybe between letter to letter, yeah? The table was question about when we saw our course begin. In the table, his answer, yeah, we will begin to our course in 576. So this was found by myself. And, and Professor Lips is the additional notes. Then, what more we have here? So, so, so our course, course, name of God, no God. God. The conceived name of God is in The several, the repeat name of God is Babel, and the first letters of the hymn of my Pinar. And the provision of our God, the complete great name of God is Yutriman. Before our time, Torah was were associated with the conceived name of God. In our time, the time just before the Messiah, Torah was are associated with the revealed name of God. These ideas are illustrated in the following table. In the first table was the sentence we will understand the Torah code in the language of the great name of God, night 
of the of the name of God, the meaning of this is the up until our day, the Torahs were concealed, hidden, and thus associated with the incomplete name of God. But that today we can understand the Torah because our belief in the light of the incomplete name of God. So this is what you're going to see in the table. We will understand the Torah code, the language of the great name of God, light of the incomplete name of God. So let us see now this table coming here. So, here you have the red cord Torah, Torah cord, cord Torah, and Shem Yudkei is the name part of the book of God. Please don't understand that Yudkei will be with an understanding of the idea of it. Then we have the red light here, so you can see cord Torah. Shem Kei, Torah Kod, God, Vashon Hashem, like the language of God, the Torah, with the light. So, I just want to also myself that Professor Weeks, in our time, the time just before the Messiah, Torah Kod are becoming known, as they become known, the revealed name of God is becoming known. Therefore, it is not surprising that there is a table that links the key word to our code with the revealed name of God. Let us see it. So, so this is what you see here. Code to our, to our code. Yeah, in Hebrew, we have two words that say the code and so forth. But it is the same. The revealed name of God. In our time, the time, the people in the Torah codes are becoming known. As they become known, the revealed name of God is becoming known. Therefore, it is not surprising that there is a table that brings the key to the Torah codes with the revealed name. So exactly that's what we saw. Which you have here, so you can see here, Kodei Torah, Kodei Torah, and so from Torah, so from Torah. And the name of God, it is the last part of the name of God. Because the Bible says, hey, the ships of before, it represents the known things of God. So, what we have here, no. During the time of the Son, the prophets tell us that all the world will acknowledge and know. The one and the man, the same God. No longer shall any man teach his neighbor, no any man his brother say, No, I shall. For all of them, you know me, from their smallest to their greatest. So all this is taken from the prophet Jeremiah, 31, 33. With regard to the meaning of no, the Bible shall have a teacher. This verse is going to a direct recognition to seeing the actual nature of that which is perceived. For teaching is only appropriate when a subject can be perhaps patiently not when the true nature of something is perceived. It is teaching of the Babisha So this is what he said. Yeah, that the true nature of something is perceived and recognized by direct vision from exile to redemption. Volume 2, this is what Chassidic teaching of the Gubavitch Rebbe, Rebbe Menachem, Sherson, the Old Publication Society, to know by direct recognition requires sensitizing of even if you have a proper recognition, so you need a certain type of consciousness. The first element of this sensitizing is to know that a consciousness of direct recognition is possible. 
is a life that is lost and love will do. And the beloved of his leader, the Tsar, contains many secrets of the physical and spiritual universe. It aims to reveal and make fair when the Jewish we might not uh, pay attention to or understand because of the ordinary way in which we look at it in this world. Its purpose is to elevate the consciousness of this leader. The next level is based on the giver learning of secret. The Tsar from the Sai and from five, seven, so, let me go say, the secret of the Tsar. If you see the record, the secret Messiah, which was really started the research of the code, the learning, the secret of the code, and from the year 576, we did 1976. You have the word, you have so, you have so, learning the secret, the secret of the Tsar. About the code, but Messiah, and this started from the year to Absalom and Brown. Then I found it, and statistically, it's less than one to ten thousand. It means the demon Simon can be also a million. So let us carry on now. And what you see here, in Kabbalah for Zor and the writing of the Aliza of Hadithuria. The year 576 is an important year. This is the year from which the preparations began above for the end of darkness, the redemption and the silent era. And it came to pass at the end of two years to the day Pharaoh was dreaming the Bible story in Genesis 41. Of this verse, when Rashaba, verse by verse, he said and came to darkness. This means there is an image to darkness. Why is there in it? In Rashaba, volume 2, century, the first year, it is the source. Then mentioned that a definite number of ills was fixed for those who stand in prison. Then the, the point is like the error. Right. And then, thus, and it came to pass at the end of two years to the day Genesis. Who set the limit in Rashaba? Then said that it was God who set the time. God is orchestrating the events. These two years are the two additional years that the world in jail because it said. With minister of the cup bears two years before mention me to Pharaoh. This statement to the minister indicates that the other world relying on people instead of God to get it out of prison. For him, this act of philosophy. According to the Kabbalah, the imprisonment of Joseph can be likened to the exile of the Jewish people. This dream of Pharaoh, followed by Joseph's impressive interpretation of the dream, and then Joseph's elevation to the second highest position in the land of Egypt can be likened to the end of the exile. The end of the exile is the beginning of the Islamic era. The Ali, Rabbi the Gluva, then writing in Southern 500, in his book, Reputator on pages 48, states that this verse indicates the beginning of the time of redemption, the messianic era. He reasons as following one year is to the nearest in 365 days, two years is then 730 days. I realize. 365 twice, twice two years, yeah, yeah, come, come to 730, plus the six letters, 
it is exactly the right expression of that. Rabbi is glorious about the time, the, the end of days, the dark, like it's not yet dark. We be down, talking soon, but this was the beginning of the stage of redemption. Then what we have more, let us take comfort. That is an enemy to the dark, an enemy to God himself, and the, and the darkness and a purpose. Even if we don't understand it, we enter, we enhance that purpose by giving the face in the darkness. Therefore, our evil, our faith, around the concept of the end of darkness, from 576, we use to spell it. Thank you. 